Okay. It's Matthew again. Like I said, I suck at introductions, so I'm like. And we have a guest. Yeah, we have a guest. Hello. <laughs> She's a philosopher in her own right. Uh, this is Ashley. She's a uh, you know, little street smart <laughs> intelligence. You know, so um, you know, if you ever wanted to hear another one of my videos, just you know, comment at the bottom of this video. If you like, I want to see Ashley in the videos. Hey, this, this is Nick. This is Nick again on the uh, camera. Nick, say hi. No, Hello. Not your fist. Give me your fist. There you go. Anyways. Um, it's come to my attention that earlier in this video, actually, it's two separate videos, this is the second one. I had to make this one because it, it occurred to me... I think it's the point. <laughs> <laughs> it occurred to me that the words I've been saying could be misinterpreted. Like when I use the word homosexual and gay. They may have similar meanings in some dictionaries, but I, I will use a word when I mean to use a word. In its context. Okay. Uh, in it, I will use a word in its context, and if it's a derogatory term, um, then you will know when it's a derogatory term. Trust me, you will know when it's a derogatory term. So unless it is derogatory, give an example of a derogatory. Okay, from now, you. If YouTube takes this off because of this, you know, like I don't think so. This is just an example, just to prove to YouTube that I'm not being derogatory to anyone of any kind of species or race or genre or whatever they want to call themselves. Um, Let's say, oh yeah, that man is very gay. Now there are two types of uh, two types of perception. But only one type is yeah, truly I only, right. I only mean, I only mean, like, remember, uh, like I said before in the video, actually in the first video, arguments are only valid or invalid. Well, truth is a statement. My statement, okay, is that man is very happy. Not that he is homosexual. That he's happy, and that's what I mean. Okay. It's just that the fact that people don't expect you to use gay in those kind you of terms. Because English language has become so yeah, butchered. Because, like, you know, they're corrupted, this is gonna be, this obviously. Because yeah. as soon as they think of gay, they're like, oh, homosexual. Yeah, and this is actually when I, I, The first thing that I think of gay, or like, let's say the word bitch, I think of female dog and happy. Yeah. Because yeah, that's what's in the dictionary. And that's, that's the original use. That's the, that's the original definition. For example, fuck. And the word fuck is F period U period C period K. The only real way that Did you could... Did Mr. Z tell you that? No, I actually um. found this out myself. It means for unlawful carnal knowledge. Yeah, I will not be using that word, that. mind you, but just for you people out there who don't have enough education to use it properly, it means the word fuck is for unlawful carnal knowledge. I did not use it in a derogatory term. Like and, that is and that is in context. And what does that mean, fuck? When is that For you? unlawful carnal knowledge means if someone who committed adultery would be labeled as fuck. Yep. Yeah. That's what it is. I didn't use it until I retain away. I didn't say, hey, Dick, you know, or hey, Ashley. I just used it as a definition. The only real way would be like, um... Yeah, but don't say it because that means we'd have to redo this. Okay, again. those two people were <laughs> effing around. Yes. And they're not married, so... It kind of works. It's, it's, it's in its context, it's in a bit, but it's still derogatory, and you know what? I don't want to cause any legal right to. But a lot of people just like to use that word just because it's like. It, they, uh, so It's like saying like shit or whatever, or like yeah, ass. They're you so know, it's. Intelligent that they cannot think of yeah, I so, agree with you because like I know people that where they will talk to you, and that's all you'll ever hear is like a swear word in every like, sentence, and yeah. it's like. It's like beep you, beep me. Beep, let's go do something. Beep, 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 This beep. other day, and like I can't believe this. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> you know, what, you know what I mean, YouTube. Now, this video is going to be a short one because I just want to protect my videos from any kind of language issues, barriers, whatever YouTube wants to do. They cannot take this off because I did not use it in a derogatory way. And they use it in context. So did Ashley, and so did Nick. So YouTube, if you take this down, <laughs> you will be basically, you know, kind of saying, okay, well, even if you use it in context. Meaning that you're going to have an issue with every single word out there. Because then people can say, oh, the word high means this and this. And it's derogatory. Take it off. So YouTube, for your own good, don't be taking this off. Trust me, it's a chain effect. You take this video off. You know, it's like that South Park episode where uh, Cartman tried to get Family Guy off the air. You know, when he just said because he didn't want to see Mohammed on the uh, Family Guy episode. He's like, if you take this one down, then it's everyone start getting wanting something down. YouTube, if you want to protect yourself, don't pull out Cartman. Don't take this off. And for the rest of you YouTube viewers out there, my name is Matthew. This is Nick, my photographer and graph. Show your face, not your thumb. <laughs> and this is Ashley. Hello. And I bid you all a good day.